The busiest travel day is going to be Friday, particularly in the afternoon. If you're skipping town this holiday weekend, buckle up. A record number of Americans will be hitting the roads. At the same time, there's going to be a major jump in travelers taking flight this 4th of July. You're taking a live look at O'Hare on this beautiful night. And that is where we find Casey Cronus with the latest on this busy travel weekend. Casey. Hey, Corey and Don. Well, about 1.6 million people are expected to pass through O'Hare and Midway airports this weekend. Those passengers' main concern getting to their destinations without any hiccups along the way. From one long line to the next, O'Hare is gearing up for its busiest weekend since the start of the pandemic. I do get stressed sometimes, especially when the airport looks like this. Um, it's actually pretty packed right now. Between today and Tuesday, the airport will see a 17% increase in travelers over last year. Midway anticipating a near 37% boost. Uh, if we could just get there. Our flight on American was delayed because of crew, so we're going to miss our connection. On the minds of passengers, getting there without a hitch. As long as the flight isn't delayed or canceled, that's fine, but that's what you get insurance for at the same time. That's why AAA experts recommend having not only a plan B, but also a plan C. Planning and being prepared for the unexpected is the most important thing. This holiday weekend, AAA is predicting a new record to be set for road travel, with 42 million Americans planning to travel by car. The earlier in the day you can leave, uh, whether it's Friday or even on Saturday, is going to be the best. In Illinois, close to two and a half million people will drive 50 miles or more. And despite high gas prices, experts say most travelers aren't shying away from sticking to their weekend plans. Still going to enjoy the summer. So if you are hitting the roads, the busiest times for drivers will be tomorrow between noon and 9 p.m. and Saturday between 2 and 4 p.m. Now here at O'Hare, about 38 flights were canceled so far today. 255 were delayed. Live at O'Hare, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.